Hey everybody, what's up? It's Andy here with a quick little update about what's been going on with the Wikiwachi River and some new rules that have just been approved regarding boating and paddling on the river. These rules might make most people happy, I think, and a few others, not so much. A little while back, I released a video about some things you should know before visiting the Wikiwachi River, and it was a surprisingly popular video, so I thought I'd put this one out there too, since a few things have changed since that video was released that will change and impact your experience when you come out here. In that video, I mentioned that there has been a little bit of friction over the years between the local residents who live along the river and those of us who just like to come out there and paddle on and enjoy the river. And these residents, they don't really love having so many people on the river right behind their house. And they don't love it when people are out there anchoring or beaching their kayak and then hanging out, partying, drinking beers, and more or less having a riverside tailgate party. I can see their argument. I mean, I think they make a fair point. And all this type of activity, it puts a lot of stress on the river since a lot of litter was being left behind by some people. And people anchoring and beaching along the river was tearing up the riverbed and destroying a lot of the eelgrass in the river that's a crucial part of the Wikiwachi's ecosystem. As Michael McGrath of the Florida Springs Council said, the Wikiwachi River was being loved to death. Well, on July 19th, 2023, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission approved a final rule establishing a springs protection zone on the Wikiwachi River that will not restrict the number of people who can still paddle on the river like some local residents actually wanted, but it will restrict beaching, mooring, anchoring, and grounding of vessels on the spring run of the Wikiwachi River. This is a 5.6 mile section that runs from Wikiwachi State Park to the Rogers Park boat ramp. This is a new ruling and I haven't really seen any further details that iron it all out, but the key word that I noticed in the law is restrict. So I don't know if this means there will still be designated sections along the river where anchoring and grounding will still be allowed, since there are a few spots along the river that are popular for swimming, and there's even that little ice cream and hot dog boat that operates in the river. So if absolutely no anchoring, grounding, or beaching is ever allowed, this new rule will probably put that poor guy out of business. But this may put a little bit of a damper on that party-like atmosphere, for better or worse, that happens along some sections of the river. So unless they set up special areas for beaching your kayak and those areas start to attract the party, I mean, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Like I said in the beginning, this will make most people happy, I think, but annoy a few others. Anyway, just a little update here about some things to be aware of if you're planning to go out there. The Wikiwachi River is a beautiful and very popular place to kayak, and I hope that this helps keep it beautiful for generations to come. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn about fun, interesting, and even some touristy things to see and do around Florida, from the state parks to the theme parks, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, and I'll be back soon.